Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do this question where we're asked to um, maximize a cost function, which uh, they give you here as 6x plus 4y, and the constraints on the system are given by the following equations. All right, so what we're looking to do is we're going to have to plot um, the constraint equations. So that's our first uh, task. Okay, so we have the equations here which are um, given as x plus 2y less than 10, 3x plus y less than 15, and x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So we need to plot that and we need to um, figure out or establish where the overlap is worth where all these lines. So our second thing will be to first of all plot them and then we're going to um, identify the overlap of the inequalities. So identify the common um, overlap for the inequalities, for these inequalities. All right, and that was going to give us a shape or some boundary where we can find the coordinates and those coordinates are going to represent the, um, the extreme points which we can then test to see when we maximize it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out how do we plot those equations. So these are relatively simple equations so we could take a look at this first one here. We have x plus 2y is less than or equal to 10. If we wanted to plot this the best way to do this would be to put it into a point slope form. So I would rearrange the equation to be 2x is less than or equal to negative x plus 10 and then divide all sides by 2 which is going to give us y is less than negative 1 half x plus 5. So if we were to plot this equation here we would know that our intercept here is plus 5. Okay so we'll just use each square here as 1 so our intercept will be here on the y-axis is 5 and then um, our slope is um, a red negative one half, which means we go, it's rise over run is how you define slope, okay, if you're going to count. So the rise is negative one, and then the run is going to be two. So we're going to have a series of points that are going to look like this, where we keep going down by one and then over two. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll plot that equation. That is our line. Okay, and, that, and remember the line is going to extend over the axes, um, but we just want to figure out where, where those two points lie. And then because it says here y is less than, that means we would be shading um, below the line. Okay, so that's going to cover areas below the line. Now what we have to do is we have to do that for each of the equations. Um, so if we were going to look at the next one here, this is 3x plus, oops, 3x plus y is less than or equal to 15. And we can again put this into um, slope-intercept form, okay, where we're going to, we could subtract 3x, so we're going to have y is less than negative 3x plus 15. Okay, and then that tells us that our intercept here is 15, so that's going to be three bigger squares up there. And then our slope here is negative three over one, so it's going to be a, a rise of negative three and an over one every time. So our line's going to essentially go like this. Okay, I'll just put this in a different color here. And then what we'll do is we'll draw our line and we want to find where this starts to overlap here. So again, this is going to be shading less than. So that means we are going to do this. And you can kind of start to see now we have a little block here that has um, the common area that overlaps with these two equations. Okay, and then the last uh, set of equations here is x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. So what does that mean? So x being greater than 0 just means that, um, here's the origin, we are essentially saying that y can be any number um, 
and x can be greater than zero. So this just means that um, we are essentially taking all values um, above the x-axis, so all positive values. Okay, so that just means we're shading the exact coordinate that you see here on the, on the screen. And then when we say y is greater than zero, that means all positive values for the y direction. Okay, so if I take a, I'll take a different color here. We'll use uh, blue. And what, what we would do is we would essentially have the common overlap of the shapes is going to be right here. Okay, so those, those four blue dots signify the shape that is represents the area that we want to maximize. So the question is, is which of those points, because those points are the edge of that shape, which of those points create the maximizing um, value for our, for our equation? All right. So I'm just gonna go back here, I'm just gonna erase this here, and let's look at what points we have here are in that shape. So the first point we have here is we have a zero, zero point. Okay, that's the point at our origin. That's one of them. The next point we have is zero comma five. That's five units up the y-axis. Then we have five comma zero. So that's the point right here on the x-axis. And then we have this point where, they, where the two lines intersect, which is actually four, three. Okay, so those are our coordinates that we want to maximize. So we simply plug each of those coordinates into our cost equation, and we see which is our largest number. Okay, so our cost equation here is 6x plus 4y. So we, we can do, um, we could do it like a little T table like this, um, three columns, okay, and where we have C. Because what we want to do is here we want to see which is the largest number. So we know our first coordinates here are zero, zero. So if we put zero in for both, we're gonna get a cost of zero. So that doesn't help us too much. Our second one here is zero, five. Okay, so X is zero, so that will go away, but four times five is 20. So zero plus 20 is 20, so that's a different number. Then we have five and zero. So the zero with the Y will make that go away. Then we have six times five, which is 30 plus zero, which is 30. And then our last one here, is four and three. So if we plug in a four, four times six is 24, and three times four is 12. So we're gonna have 24 plus 12, which is 36. Okay, so out of our, out of our equation where we have this here, we would find that the, the, the point that maximizes our equation, given those constraints, is coordinate four three so that's the that is the um the choice that you would have four units of it four items for x three items for y which would give us the maximum um, amount for that cost equation so we could simply say here max 36 at four comma three okay so that's how would we approach that equation